Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this long shadow text effect. First, open a new document and select the Type tool. Now click on the artboard and type your text. Let's change its style and the size. Now we'll copy this text and place it in front. To do that, first make sure your text is selected, then press Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it, and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now, when you go to the Layers panel and open the sublayers, you can see we've got an extra copy. Select the top text, change its fill to red, and let's lock this layer. Next, using the bottom layer, we will create a drop shadow effect. First, make sure your layer is selected. Then, go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and choose Transform. Check the preview box so you can see what you are doing. Now we are going to create a long shadow that will extend beyond the artboard. To do that we will use the Copies option. You want to set the copies value to a fairly large number. I would suggest that you experiment with it and see what works for your project. Let's start with 300. Next, we will use the Move option to stretch the shadow down and right. Type 0.5 for the horizontal value and 0.5 for the vertical value. This will give you a 45 degree angle. You can notice that the length of our shadow is a little too short. If you like this effect, then leave it as it is, but if you want to extend your shadow beyond the artboard, then you will need to set the copies value to a higher number. Let's change it to 900. Click OK and zoom out. Next, we will trim our shadow so it will fit nicely to our artboard. First, unlock the top layer. Then select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard. Now press the Ctrl and A buttons on your keyboard to select everything. Go to Object, select Clipping Mask and choose Make. Now you can leave it as it is or you can change the white background to a different color. To do that, draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard, change its color to red and move this layer to the bottom. Now you can still go back and make any changes. Let's add a black stroke to our red text. Go to your Layers panel, open the sublayers and select the red text layer. Now select the stroke, change it to black and if you like you can change its weight. You can also make changes to the black shadow and modify it. Select the black shadow layer, then select the fill and change its color. Let's say we want to change the angle of our shadow. You can still easily do it. With the shadow layer selected, open the Appearance panel. If you don't have it open, go to Window and select Appearance. Now click on the Transform option. Check the preview box and by changing the horizontal and vertical values for the Move option, you can manipulate the shadow's angle. Just play with it. Next, I will show you how you can save this long shadow effect into your graphic styles, so you can use it later. First, open the Graphic Styles window 
If you don't have it open, go to Window and select Graphic Styles. Now click on the new Graphic Style icon and your new Graphic Style should appear in this window. Double click on it and give it a name. Next, click on the Graphic Styles Libraries menu icon and select Save Graphic Styles. Now change the file name to the same name you've used for your graphic style and click Save. Next, open a new document. Type whatever you like. And let's apply this saved long shadow graphic style to our new text. First make a copy of this layer, change its color and select the bottom layer. Now open the graphic styles window, click on the graphic styles libraries menu icon, select user defined and you should see your saved graphic styles name. Click on it and this window will open. Now click on your style icon to apply it to your text. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.